go. Oh, Ribble Head Viaduct on what is not uncommonly a very windy, wet day. What a beautiful structure. Give me breath back. If you remember back in December, I came here with the Orange team. We were spending £2.1 million pounds looking after this beautiful grade two listed structure a pinnacle a pillar a must for the british railways even my dead cat's getting wet well they've come to the completion now scaffolding's coming down they're all packing up and they're all going to go home just in time for the better weather but what a great job they've done on this viaduct an essential part of a railway line that goes through the heart of the Pennines from Settle all the way into Carlisle and beyond of course but this is this has got to be one of the world's most beautiful Victorian structures so we've just completed this 2.1 million pound project to do special repairs on this iconic railway structure at Ribblehead Viaduct we're just ready now to welcome passengers and tourists back ahead of the summer staycation. Uh, my name is James Lunny, I'm a site manager for this uh, project at Riverhead Viaduct. Um, it's been a privilege actually working on it with uh, the team, with the QED lads, the scaffold lads, putting all the scaffold up for us. Um, as I say, all the works has been complete now. Um, we're just coming to the end of the job and once again it's been an absolute privilege working on this structure and with the lads all pulling together as a team. I'm Mike Roberts, I'm the railway chaplain for the northwest of England. I'm standing under Rivelhead Viaduct and I found a photograph a few weeks ago of me standing exactly here when I was about five years old and it's amazing to see it coming back and to look at the work that the guys have been doing on the, um, on the structure to restore it. And just as you've seen it in the wind and the rain today, you see the conditions they've been working in and it really does blow your mind at the amazing job they've been doing over this last six months or so and as they're starting to take the scaffolding down now I'm just amazed, I was on the Staycation Express last year that went over the top of this and I'll be on it again this summer and it's just incredible to see the work that Network Rail are putting in to keep it safe and to keep the trains moving as we get back to them this summer stone block work and drainage is being upgraded on the historic structure which carries the picturesque settle to carlisle railway 400 meters across the ribble valley in yorkshire we've been working on this project since november 2020 working off a uh, scaffold tower is over 100 feet high working across seven of the 24 arches of this structure Detailed laser and drone surveys have mapped every inch of the Grade 2 listed viaduct for the first time and huge scaffolding towers were built for the repairs to take place. Doing so, this gave a rare access for a much closer inspection of the 144 year old railway links condition. an indication of how wild and breezy it is. I've got something called a dead cat on the end of this uh, camera and it's supposed to cut out the wind as much as possible but if I venture out here it's between the two pillars. If you can hear me at all this is the sort of thing the lads and lasses have had to put up with relentless since before the end of last year. The repairs have been progressing well, minor faults in the masonry have been found and sorted. 
Some of the block work on the viaduct supports was cracked, especially when the water gets inside and freezes, expands in the cold weather. It turns to ice, making the damage worse. Plans were submitted to the Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority to carry out extra repairs to the newly found cracks as soon as possible as part of the same project. Ribblehead Viaduct opened in 1876, bridging the gap between Ribblehead and Dent on a very exposed and windy Batimos. As Ribblehead Viaduct is a Grade 2 listed structure, Network Rail was working very closely with Historic England and the Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority to ensure all the work was sympathetically carried out in line with the guidance for the historical significance of the structures. Ribblehead Viaduct is the longest and the third tallest structure on the Settle to Carlisle railway line. It was designed by John Sidney Crossley, a chief engineer of the Midland Railway who was responsible for the design and the construction of all major structures along the line. So quite fortunate to be invited again by the Great Orange Army to come here to Ribblehead Viaduct to check out exactly what they've been getting up to and have a chat with some of the team involved with this great structure. It is so difficult to film anything. Just look at the, the rain pouring across as the freight train passes. My camera is not waterproof, I do hope it lasts. Let's try and share this with you. What a great day. Even more majestic, with the weather kicking off and the rain pouring through the pillars across the Yorkshire Dales. Where else? Where else would I be? Oh. A cup of tea. And my dead cat needs to lie in front of the fire. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Until next time. Ta -ra.